So, you're a software engineer and you're wondering, how do people actually make money in this field, like real money, not just scraping by with a junior salary and a dream? Well, turns out, there's more than one way to get the bag. And it's not all about grinding 9 to 5 for some faceless enterprise that blocks ChatGPT on the office Wi-Fi. Oh, and before we start the video, I got some good news for you codeheads. I made a Discord server where we can all hang out, share memes, and help each other. So hurry up, join using the link in the description or by scanning this QR code. All right, back to the video. Let's start with the obvious one, full-time jobs. These are your bread and butter. Whether it's a front-end dev gig at a startup or back-end at some Fortune 500, you trade your time for a salary. What most people don't realize is that how much you earn here can vary wildly based on your negotiation skills, not just your skill set. Two devs doing the same job can have a $50,000 difference in pay just because one of them asked for more. There are also major spikes based on geography and company size. Big tech, like Fang, if we still say that, can pay upwards of $300,000 in total comp, while your local mom-and-pop app shop might toss you $50,000 and a fun work environment. Next, freelancing. This is the wild west of software income. You can make a killing or absolutely nothing. But here's the cheat code, specialization. Generic React devs are everywhere. But a React dev who builds dashboards for fintech companies? Now that person gets paid. Sites like Upwork, TopTel, and Contra help you find clients. But the real gold mine is long-term B2B relationships. You do one job, crush it, and become their go-to. No more hunting? Then there's contracting and consulting. It sounds similar to freelancing, but here you're more of a mercenary than a creative. Companies will hire you to fix a specific problem or ship a feature fast. You're paid more per hour, but expected to work fast and hit deliverables. If you build a name for yourself, you can charge absurd rates. The trick is to build credibility, post technical blogs, contribute to OSS, open source systems, speak at meetups, make yourself look like a wizard who charges by the spell. Now let's talk side hustles. This is where things get interesting. You can sell templates, plugins, or tiny utilities. Like, ever heard of a dev who built a color palette generator and sold it for $5 a pop? That dude made tens of thousands passively, if not more. If you're into teaching, platforms like Gumroad, Udemy, or even Patreon let you package what you know and sell it. You're not just a dev now, you're a product. Another underused option is technical content. Companies pay good money for devs who can write. If you can explain Kafka in a way that doesn't make people cry, you can charge per blog post. Same for YouTube channels, newsletters, and documentation gigs. Some devs even get paid just to tweet about products. Welcome to the age of the devfluencer. And yes, there's open source. It's not just free labor anymore. Platforms like GitHub sponsors and companies like Tidelift and Open Collective are letting maintainers actually get paid. If you've got a popular repo or even contribute to one, there's potential income in it. Plus, it opens doors to speaking, consulting, and more. Finally, there's the holy grail building your own product. Not just a portfolio project or a clone for your resume, but something people actually use. And maybe, just maybe, something people pay for. Whether it's an app, an API, a tool, or a service, you own it, you control it, and if you play your cards right, you scale it. And speaking of launching your own thing, let me show you the easiest way to actually start monetizing it. From day one, that's where WAP comes in. Ooh, let me have some of that cool whip. What'd you say? WAP is a community platform where creators sell your app for you. You list your app on the WAP app stores. Creators install it into their WAP and promote it directly to their audience. One big creator can mean thousands of paying users instantly. WAP handles payments, authorization, and distribution all in one place. You build the product, creators bring the audience. Check it out at wap.com developers. Thank you for sitting through yet another tech rant, and if you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe to become a fellow codehead.